Welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. We are going to be taking a look at those of you who have significant placements of Sagittarius in your birth chart. So before we get into your messages, I would like to invite you all to book a personal session of your own with me at www.divinelotustarot.com. That is my website. You can find the link below this video in the description box below. Also, I want to invite you um, to follow my social media accounts. You can find the information for those accounts below this video as well. So yes, yes, we are going to take a look at those of you who have significant placements of Sagittarius for all of you. So getting into your messages right away. Um, I'm picking up, there are two groups of you, okay? So yes, I feel there are two groups of you. In the first group of you, there is a decision that you are the one needing to be to be made. So you could be holding up some type of um, situation in your life um, until you make this decision. Now, it feels like some of you are kind of like stuck, um, maybe because you don't have all the information or there's other factors or parameters that need to be considered before you can move forward and make this decision. For um, others of you making this decision, I feel like you could just be indecisive and you're needing to listen to your intuition, okay? Um, some of the things that this decision that needs to be made could pertain to a project, your home, or a home, um, family related matters, work and business, and then love and romance, okay? And then the other group of you, you're on the waiting end um, for a decision to be made and it would be in regards to those same areas as well too. So that's what I'm picking up as the like overall basis of this. It's, it's kind of like there are some of you in the decision of being the decision maker and then there's some of you on the end of essentially waiting for a decision to be made, okay? Now some other messages that was coming through for you all, I feel like um, you're being advised to try your best to, you know, just watch your thoughts um, and just to be positive because I feel like things are going to work out best for you. Um, you're needing to just try to your best to find time to rest and relax, okay, and just like enjoy life and try to... Um, do things that allow you to like de-stress okay or to have as minimal stress as possible um, I'm also getting a sense of you doing things that would allow you to be like in a position of servitude to others is going to work in your best interest as well too and just practicing um, gratitude is going to be very helpful for you okay um, regardless of which side that you're on I also see the energy going on kind of like underlying behind the scenes for those of you who have been feeling like there have been external forces or external influences or you are aware of this this is true you do have um, individuals that are well I would say individuals and like energies put it like that that are um, trying to work against you and trying to deter you okay during this period of time um, I just feel like it's energies where um, they get a joy they get a kick they get a rise out of you know seeing you stress seeing you get all riled up or they're trying their best to do this to you okay um, is what I'm seeing and it has a lot to do with the fact that I feel a lot of you are working on yourselves you know just focusing on yourselves, trying to heal yourselves, um, just really growing and developing in, right in the midst of some people's eyes that, you know, they don't like that because they don't have the strength and the capacity to do that themselves. Um, I feel like a lot of you as well, too, could be very gifted in some sense, okay? And you have a natural talent about you and I feel like that could also be very disturbing to these energies because you are very unique and you stand out um, as well too
but I also was picking up um, try your best not to like worry about these external forces because they are going to be handled they're going to be dealt with and you're going to get the last laugh at the end of the day I feel like Sagittarius your patience is going to pay off along with the fact that um, the energies of it feels like Saturn and karma is going to take care of these individuals um, who have been trying to make it very difficult for you I'm seeing that there are energies around um, th these energies okay these negative energies these negative influences external from you where um, they're constantly watching you okay I do feel like these energies come up with new creative ways to try to stop like your money or to negatively impact your work and this is just how miserable these um, energies are for some of you you'll be able to know and detect these because these are people who have um, some type of health elements or health issues going on so that's number one but I mean maybe all of them aren't disclosing it so whether you know of this or not these individuals are suffering from health uh, health elements and whether they know or not well they'll they'll soon be discovering that as well too um but i do see yeah um these energies are definitely trying to impact you negatively um, when it comes to your work um your sense of stability your sense of security um trying to keep you in an energy of making you just feel uncomfortable trying to keep you very um it's like they're trying to keep you like restricted feeling restricted in some type of way um is what i'm getting i'm also seeing um individuals where they are purposely either withholding money from you so this could be money that is owed to you um is what i'm getting or they're blocking or yeah blocking money or blocking money opportunities from you now for some of you these are people who are intentionally doing this for others of you this could just be the sense that these individuals the spirit the entities the energies that are attached to them that they're um carrying they are blessing blockers so these are just individuals that you do not want to be around and dealing with anyways because they they carry that poverty energy and that is something um that could be negatively impacting you because of the energy that this person is working in okay so i do feel like you do have relationships coming to an end for some of you you might have a, a a love relationship that is coming to the end and i feel like this is going to be made apparent to you why this relationship needed to come to an end especially for those of you where you're on the end where you need to make a decision um because i do feel like there is things that you are not aware of that is going on um where this person is essentially like a hindrance to you okay and this person has been hindering you as well too okay and like i said that's going to be made very clear um for some of you um these individuals are doing black magic on you um yes because when all else fails you know that's people's you know go to to do black magic when they have low self-esteem issues um because that's what i'm seeing here these individuals could be people who have drinking problems okay they could be having drink they could have drinking problems they could also be um emotional wrecks and they could be individuals that don't know how to control their emotions as well too um yeah and they don't they don't ex they don't know how to process their feelings or deal with their feelings um as well either is what i'm getting Um, let me see but yeah I do see things going to make uh, an improvement with you but let's go ahead and just get a little bit more deeper into your reading that was just like preliminary messages for you okay Sagittarius so I do see that some of you may be getting some um exciting news when it comes to new work opportunities okay um you could have a particular um individual who may want to work with you or who may want to invest 
um, in something that you have, like a, a product, a good, a service, okay, um, is what I'm seeing. So you could be hearing some type of good news, like especially if you were um, applying for like some type of loan or funding or you've been seeking out like investors or um, just needing some additional like uh, money to uh, help you with starting off like a business that you have okay or just investing into your company in general is what I'm seeing so for some of you you definitely are going to have um, inter uh, 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 <laughs> Uh, investor that does want to work with you okay for others of you I do just see um, some type of work opportunities opening up for you I do feel like um, you maybe become very busy all of a sudden as well too so I feel like for those of you maybe where if you have downtime downtime right now like you do want to take advantage of just enjoying your period of rest because I do feel like some of you are going to come into a significant um, period of time where like you may be working like excessively okay or you may be being required to do like mandatory like overtime or just a vet invest a lot of time into um, working is what I'm I'm getting okay yeah I just feel like work opportunities are gonna pick up all of a sudden for you and I feel like it's good I just feel like just enjoy the the, the downtime that you have right now because I feel like this will allow you you to be prepared like mentally but also like physically for like the amount of work that you do some of you may work in like industries where you do like laborist type of work okay so you also just want to be mindful of that that you're getting your proper rest and things of that nature and you're taking care of yourself so that you can you know handle the workload that is coming towards you because i'm seeing like very like strenuous um hours or like strenuous type of work that you do like you could do something that's very physical is what i'm getting okay okay um i'm also getting at the message that for some of you sagittarius individuals you could have someone going to jail around you now it's giving a very strong masculine energy um like a father energy so this may be someone who's related to you like your father um someone you look at like a, a father maybe like a grandfather type of energy um or this very well could be a female who holds a very masculine tone but I do see someone around you is going to be going to jail, okay? I'm also seeing as well, some of you too could potentially be getting into bodybuilding. Um, or some of you are just really stepping up your like exercise, like regimen is what I'm seeing. But I'm seeing some of you like getting really like fit and really toned, okay? Yeah, I'm seeing like a lot of energy with some of you really stepping into like really working out really focusing a lot of attention on your like your appearance your body but working it out though is what i'm seeing so this could be something that you're finding um either pleasure in maybe some of you have become addicted to like working out okay um or you will become addicted to like working out or um i, I feel like maybe this could be a lot of you spending your leisure time your free time like when you're not busy working it's almost like then you're in the gym or you're at the gym or you're working out so okay okay so for some of you I do see that some of you are interested in reaching out um, to consult maybe like a psychic a medium a high priestess um, some type of spiritualist because I feel like you are being led in guided to do this i did hear guardian angels so maybe some of you are really starting to tap in and listen to your guardian angels um, maybe they're becoming more present to you because you are becoming into a state where you're more open and receptive to their guidance okay um but i feel they're about to help bring you some type of justice that will be um that that is well deserved okay I see as well too some of you are wanting to consult like I said some type of spiritualist um, to get some type of clarification maybe around a situation that has to do with black magic okay so you are being advised to move forward with that um, but just make sure you do your due diligence and 
get with someone who I feel like is reputable, credible, or that you just feel like a good rapport or connection with, okay? That's that's going to be like sincere and genuine when it comes to helping you get the uh, clarity that you need in regards to that situation, okay? Um, besides that, I do see some of you as well too um, having a lot of communication going on. Um, people could be coming to you for your advice or your guidance is what I'm seeing. So you could be like some type of appointed individual that individuals are being directed to you. Um, maybe this is your position that you have at work. So this, this is either a position you already currently have or you may be stepping into this role of leadership where you're going to be some type of appointed um, manager or boss or um, supervisor. So some of you could be stepping into a new role or a new position as well too. Maybe some type of promotion is what I'm seeing. Um, but I do see that you're going to have to speak with people a lot more. You're going to have to have like... It's either your sense of consulting and speaking with people is going to increase or you're going to be in a position where whatever you're stepping into it might be like a, a direct position that you have to speak with people for some of you is what I'm picking up mm -hmm. okay so once again I'm getting the message coming around about someone who has some type of health implications around you that either they are not aware of currently or that they are holding that information back from you besides that I'm also hearing um, drinking and then I'm hearing 333 so that may be relevant to some of you okay okay I'm also getting the sense Sagittarius that you've had to deal with a lot of scrutiny you had you've had to deal with a lot um, meaning that you have been being essentially um, antagonized or you have been being the, I want to say like, have, have had a lot of negative situations or energies or experiences that you've dealt with or that has been being projected on you by outside individuals. Um, I feel like things are going to like take off for you all of a sudden I do feel like a lot of these individuals once again this energy is coming up are going to have tower moments um, I'm hearing catastrophe so there could be um, it's almost like the universe okay or God or you know is allowing you to have a front row seat of justice taking place and I feel like it's going to happen very quickly out of the blue all of a sudden okay and I feel like this is just a sense um, yeah I'm seeing energy pertaining to like you getting some justice maybe for things that you were aware of maybe for things that you were not even aware of um, that was going on towards you um, as far as individuals like I said who were being very um, nasty towards you, just put it like that. Being very nasty, being very mean, doing wicked and cruel things to you, some things you were aware of, some things you are not even aware of. Um, but I do see that you're going to get a front row seat of karma happening to these individuals. Um, especially because I feel like for a lot of you, like you've just carried forth and not really tried to pay much mind or attention to these individuals I do see that like a lot of you have just been trying to do your best to essentially just like stay in your own lane mind your business and move forward um so I feel like in that sense this pertains to those of you where you know you you've just been doing your best to try to um move forward move on you know tend to yourself but I, I do see like there's been a lot of individuals who have been directing a lot of like negative energy towards you um where they don't have the same capacity to mind their business and move on with their life um or direct that energy in a productive way for them so i do see yeah that playing out and that's going to be justice for you pure point blank um that's what i'm seeing 
you're getting a front row seat to see I'm getting the demise of the individuals who who were um, doing this to you okay so I feel like this is essentially a blessing it's been it's, it feels like it's been brewing it's been preparing um, because of the position that you took okay so because of your nature and the position that you you took in a situation I feel like the universe is going to bless you um, some of your blessings are going to include you being able to see other individuals get karma others of you as well too your blessings definitely are going to include the things that you have been preparing for or asking for um, you're going to be blessed before your before these same people who were trying to either stop your blessings um, specifically because you know oh my goodness people have been being envious and jealous towards you and coveting you I mean that's just what it is they have been and trying to do everything that they can to cause you to it's like everything that's about to happen to these people this is what they have been wishing on you or have or have been doing towards you so so you're about to get your blessings in their presence um and that's just what it is is what i'm saying you're going to be blessed in the midst of your enemies i believe that's psalm 23 Yeah, I feel like a lot of you, essentially what I'm getting is when I mean that you've minded your business and you've continued to carry on, essentially you've kind of like held your peace, okay? And because you because you chose to hold your peace and not go back and forth with these energies, okay? I feel like you're going to, you're going to be blessed for that. And in Psalm 23, it says, the Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valleys, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Okay. So yeah, that's what I'm seeing. So I'm 23, but you know, in full effect. Okay, so a few things before we wrap this reading up for you Sagittarius. I do just feel like you are about to, you know, have some amazing and wonderful blessings come in for you because I feel like a lot of you have like really maintained a level of like faith, even in the midst of all types of adversity um that has come against you okay and i feel like for some of you you may have individuals trying to you know seek your forgiveness and they may want a brand new start with you um because they see you stepping into the these blessings and all of a sudden um you know they, they may want to atone especially the individuals who are about to be getting this who are under heavy judgment essentially you know like we're in the energy of saturn we're in the energy of you know karma you know the things that people have done whether you're aware of this or not you know they, they're gonna have to deal with that you know what I'm saying because I just feel like honestly 2020 was should have been a wake-up call for a lot of individuals and I feel like it was a test honestly I feel like 20, 20 the year 2020 was a test for a lot of individuals to give people essentially like a second chance you know to amend things and make things right and, and get on the right path and I feel like a lot of individuals even I witnessed this like myself and I, it just really blew my mind that like a lot of people if not you know they, they didn't use the opportunity to just be more grateful and to um take that opportunity to like really value and appreciate life or those that they had around them I still saw individuals working with just low vibrational energy and really taking advantage of individuals who have never done anything wrong to them only had the best intentions for them um 
and it's like they almost had an uh, i just feel like a lot of individuals had the opportunity to like right wrongs and they still chose to to stay in low vibrational energies and like 2020 meant nothing to them like you know it was a lot going on and i even witnessed people having like sympathy for all types of individuals outside of them who they didn't know which is beautiful you know what i'm saying like we've seen like people come together and really um just show up for one another and then it's almost like people turn back around and just start doing the same low vibrational stuff like really just backpedal like significantly so I seen this even just around people who I knew, you know what I'm saying? And I no longer hold my breath, you know, expecting for people to become just more grateful, you know what I'm saying? Because I just feel like it's it's a choice at this point in time, you know what I'm saying? So I just feel like I say all this to say some of you are going to come to find out that there were people who was doing like really shady stuff towards you that you would have never imagined um because you never had like that same type of ill intent towards these individuals and these are going to be the same individuals who are like begging for your forgiveness i i I really feel like for some of you some of you may know this already so it may not come to a surprise to a few of you but i feel like a lot of you are going to really discover that there really were people who were like really doing shady stuff to you um that all of a sudden are going to want your forgiveness because they're under such heavy scrutiny and judgment that they were not prepared for it by messing with you. You know, they did they didn't know um they know not what they what they did, you know, understand what I'm saying? So but they're going to know. You know, they they're, they're going to they're going to figure that out. Um they're gonna know they're gonna realize that 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 wasn't the best choice for them to do um especially when i see a lot of you had nothing but good intentions for these individuals or these were just people who you didn't even do anything to or didn't know or you know didn't associate in that type of manner and these were people who went through really like extraneous measures to really try to cause some sense of harm towards you is what i'm seeing okay um so i feel like a lot of you're gonna that that's gonna become something that you are made aware of and I just feel like your best bet is going to be to um like forgive the situation and I know that's a lot you know to to be um to ask to be the bigger person and I remember I used to struggle with this a lot like especially growing up because I always felt like I have always been like the mature person in certain settings that I I'm in like my family setting like the friends that I used to you know associate with when I was younger or just other group type of settings when I would you know intentionally set myself around other individuals or I would need to be around other individuals and I would just try to figure out like why do I always have to be the bigger person or the mature person and I will say I do have Saturn um, significant placements of Saturn in my birth chart and then I didn't really know like what all that meant but I do feel like maybe for some of you where you have significant placements of like Capricorn um, or Aquarius or just Saturn placements in general I do feel like it will require you to step up and be the bigger person the bigger person does not always mean that you have to allow these individuals back into your life i I truly wholeheartedly had to come to learn that forgiveness simply just means that you're not forgiving essentially the person okay and letting them off the hook it's just the fact that you don't need to carry that around on you and you don't need someone else to get closure in a situation you can get closure for yourself so that you can be happy you can be blessed you can still live in peace and joy and move forward in your life and let them worry about that let them carry that burden on them let let them stress themselves out and and deteriorate themselves if that's what they choose to do you know what i'm saying by holding on to grudges and being mean and being wicked and being evil and i just feel like it's always going to be in your best interest to 
come out on top and try your best not to um you know engage back with that type of energy because you're gonna be blessed and you're about to see exactly why you know that works in your favor and I feel like the more you start to practice that it's gonna become um easier for you to do and easier for you to accept you know what I'm saying but I understand we're all at different you know pages and levels in our life and you know maturity wise but I I feel like once you truly accept that and learn and continue to like invoke that um that's not to say that you can't get mad that's not to say that you can't you know acknowledge your feelings and your emotions it's not to say that I just feel like it'll help you get to a better place of realizing why it actually is in your benefit okay don't look at it from the other person's perspective it don't, it don't got nothing to do with them it, it's actually in your benefit okay to be the bigger person because you you get blessed <laughs> let, let them worry about being stressed okay let them stress themselves out if that's what they choose to do but you you worried about being blessed and I feel like yes it's in your best interest to be the bigger person to forgive the situation and take your time and you know go through that process how you need to I'm not saying how quickly you need to forgive and whatnot I just say ultimately it's going to be in your best interest to adopt that type of mentality okay and like I said it's, it's something that I've had to really deal with um, especially because I was constantly told this when I was younger like I felt that was an extreme heavy burden for someone to be so young and always being told to be the bigger person, especially when you had individuals who were like older than you doing things, you know what I'm saying? Or people who you felt like should have known better doing, you know, ignorant things. But I just feel like from me to you, um, not ever necessarily having anyone personally tell me why it was in my best interest. I came to like find that out just through my process of you know healing and just research and studying and reading you know so from different self-help books that's how I came to that but I'm grateful for the individuals who always like said that because it always stuck with me even though it was very irritating it was very irritating no one ever explained to me the reasoning why they would just always say oh well you should just be the bigger person you should just be the bigger person and I always just took it as a sense of like an attack on me and that they were taking the side of the other individual and that may have been the case in those situations you know like I said I never got an explanation as to why it was in my best interest to do it but it, the fact of the matter is that saying always stuck with me and it, it was so irritating but I'm so grateful because later on I came to actually have a better understanding an understanding of why it was actually in my best interest and have you know um, the experience to, to, to be able to work through that and process the previous things that I had went through and just find the closure that I needed, you know, because there was no need for me to continue to walk around carrying grudges um, that sometimes they, they weren't even my issues. You know what I'm saying? Um, and in instances where, you know, there, w there was things that I contributed to, you know, learning to forgive myself and that that process as well, too. So I say all that to say um, some of you are just definitely needing to allow yourself to get closure and you can do that with yourself you don't have to um have another individual to give you that apology you don't have to wait for another individual to heal you don't have to you know wait to a particular time to forgive yourself like you can start all of that now and i just feel like whatever work that a lot of you have been doing i i feel like you're going to see the the um direct correlation of that um through the blessings that are coming in for you all and i just you know want you all to just safeguard and protect your blessings by continuing to you know sow good seeds and continue to um work on yourself and develop yourself because like i said once you start doing it you'll continue to get used to it and then it'll be easier moving along okay but um i really feel like um 
those are all the messages that I have for you so if you would like to book a personal session with me you can go to my website and do that www.divinelotustarot.com be blessed